Good morning, good afternoon, good night, everybody. We are at Six Flags in New Jersey for their Fright Fest. 30 years. I'm joined with Frozo. No, this is my sister. She hey, wanted to dress. So, she I wanted know. to dress up. We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, I'm excited. I've never been here for their Halloween event, and I haven't been to Six Flags in over like a year. So last time I was actually here, I was with her for like Christmas when we had to wear masks. It was crazy, but let's get this video started. So uh, why did you dress up? So I thought this was a costume party. So I dressed up as Frozone from The Incredibles. Um, no one's dressed up. There's a few. I mean, mom has her Mickey Mouse hat on from uh, Tokyo. Trendy and cute. I look like a balloon with no figure. Do you guys do spooky stuff well? Nope. No? no? Me? Not at all. Ah, all right. It's We're in trouble. It's gonna be a fun night, folks. I'm excited to kind of compare and contrast this to Halloween Horror Nights. I mean, on our way in, we got this spooky we don't, we don't skeleton. Oh, there's another, there's a, there's a scary person right there. Oh look, oh, no. scary person. Oh yeah, they got a couple. Super spooky. <laughs> oh, yeah, looking oh, good. <laughs> you scared? This is not good. This is the first. Did you guys get scared at that? Yes. Rosa. She looks great. Lots of spooky cars. Look at the moon in the distance. The red bloody fountain. I want to go in accessories of the line. All right. What? Oh, what? I wanna go in Why? What? You wanna go in the gift shop? I, th I think I need gloves. You're cold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. How you doing? That's fun. We got some scare actors out here. Getting spooky. Ooh. <laughs> I love that. It's so creepy. They have a couple of coming out here right now. Oh. <laughs> You got gloves? Nice. <laughs> they have an Oktoberfest here at Six Flags. Food festival, obviously beers and pretzels. This is my speed right here. <laughs> my mom doesn't really do rides or haunted houses, so she's excited because they were concerned they weren't even going to sell alcohol here, so. Remember I cried on the... Uh, Skyliner. Oh, you think I'm going to do this? <laughs> yeah, that's true. They got uh, beer, wine, mixed drinks. We got a wide variety of drinks. My mom got some wine. My sister got a mule. And she can't open it with the straw. And I got a white claw. Happy Halloween. Happy family. Cheers. Family time together. By the way, when you uh, get a drink, uh, you get a little 21 band. We got like a devil right here. Now this ride is open. The Joker. It's literally insane. It seems that they have like a bunch of creepy themed cars just around the place. Creepy skeleton. People have been recognizing you already. I'm just getting a little nervous. No way. Someone even said, where's my super suit? I felt I felt seen and heard. When you're wearing a, a rubber band for an outfit, you want to feel something. This thing is a headache waiting to happen. You're going up and down and looping while you're spinning. Literally insane. And it's actually looks like a walk-on right now too. That which is awesome. It's giving value to the ticket already. The fact that you don't have to wait yeah, for this ride. It's fact. <laughs> now Tristan doesn't know how to respond when they're like, where is my super suit? And it was just like frozen and I was like, and they're like, where is my super suit? And I'm like, okay girl! <laughs> like, that's not my character. Got some eyeballs lighting up the grounds. I definitely don't think we're in like the crowded area, but it is strange just seeing such an empty Six Flags. I should have gotten the map because it seems like there's a lot of stuff here. There's scare zones, haunted houses, and uh, I don't know, little snack attractions. Houdini's Great Escape. It's just like a little magic trick. Woo! <laughs> Mom got scared. I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, we, we're gonna have to train you before you come to Halloween Horror Nights. You wouldn't survive it. <laughs> and look at those, they're so cool! The things that entertain you mom sometimes. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of cool walking down here with y'all on the vlog because I used to come here all the time as like a high schooler just because I was bored with a bunch of my friends. So coming back here with my family like literally 10 years later and now I'm vlogging this. It's pretty dope, it's pretty cool. Frozen! 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 
<laughs> there you go. Oh no! Oh, this is cool. They have a little directional board, but they have saw in the conjuring. Interesting. And they have a little kids area. That's fun. Nathan, you want to try some basketball for your dad? <laughs> no, I'm okay. You're not going to make the shot? I'm, I'm not going to make the shot. Shout out to John! No! I'm Listen, I've never heard those on talk at Disney. So we have two haunted houses. We have Fears and Manor. There's eight here in Six Flags. And we're about to go on them. You ready? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm a, you know, we're gonna do we'll it. get your review after. And it's cool, they do give a little bit of a description of what you can expect in the house. We'll start with the manor. Here are the two entrances, Fears and Manor. No recording, we're about to go in. Were you scared? I mean, I think I was just more nervous for the jump scares, and there was two people behind us that kept screaming in my yeah. ear. Um, um, yeah, production value very low, and I'm not saying this in a mean way. You can't compare it to like a Halloween Horror Nights or even like a SeaWorld Orlando. I kind of felt like I was just walking through like a very open and empty factory with some rooms with cool little animatronics, but again, the production value is nowhere close to Halloween Horror Nights, but it's still scary enough. The biggest thing that gets you in is a lot of loud sounds and the scare actors are screaming. So again, with no music or sound effects, it's almost a little more scary because like the only thing you hear is the people yelling at you. And so. you just, you don't know what you anticipate. So when there's someone that just screams in your ear, yeah. Personally you. though, I didn't get scared. I'm going to give that a two out of five. But this is me coming from like freaking going around the country and trying a bunch of different horror places. I would give it a four out of 10. Frozen approved. The amount of times I've watched people play basketball here and not get the high score. By the way, I don't know how busy this normally gets, but we walked straight on to that, so let's hope that that trend continues the whole night. Next up is Fears. Literally, this is the line. This is crazy. Do not touch my friends. They will not touch you. Also, no recording of any kind. Keep the phones away. Cool? Cool. Welcome, welcome, join us. So the theming of that one is really cool. It basically just went through different fears. So like fears of spiders, fears of holes, fears of snakes, fears of birds. Wow. It was pretty cool and well executed. Uh, as far as the scare actors, you're basically like in a room and they can free roam in that area so they can follow you. It's not set to one scare, which definitely creates a level of uneasiness. So. I give that one a solid, okay, we're gonna switch this to out of 10. Thank you, I'm, <laughs> thank I'm, you. I'm gonna, I like solid two out of five. I'm gonna give that one a five out of 10. That was pretty good. I Again, I really like the theming of it. And it was clearly like defined. Like before you walked in every room, they talked about what the fear was. So that was cool. I enjoyed it. Brozone gives that ride a six out of 10 on Scare Factor. I feel like we're back in like middle school. We go on the rides and mom waits for us. But instead of candy, it's drinks now. <laughs> We've upgraded. Do you think 
a balloon. <laughs> I'm gagging. What's really cool is that these rides are open. So you got Green Lantern over here. You got the Superman ride over in the distance. But I will say, I actually came here opening day. I wasn't even vlogging. I just came here to be here and I hated this ride. It just hurt my crotch. It was just rough. It's a standing roller coaster, kind of similar to the one that they have in SeaWorld Orlando, but this has been here for years. Again, it might be better now, but I didn't like it back in, it's not better? It's not, it's not. Ah, but again, they're walk-ons, which is great. We're here on a Thursday, the park closes at 10. I can already see that the Conjuring might have the longest line of the night just because it comes with the name. We got the Conjured Spirits Bar, you know, because of the Conjuring. Mom got Jamaican beef patty and a hazy beer. Nice. Yep. I'm still on my first one. But more people are recognizing me now, and I feel seen and heard. Hashtag you matter. So it worked, it worked. Good job. Moving on through. This is like where you can usually meet animals, but right now it's definitely a little more spooky and I like it. We got some theming instead of the watering hole it's now called the dead end and the moon in the background. It's actually pretty spooky. Now to the left is King Ka. We're gonna go down there. That's actually used to be the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the world but not anymore. Not anymore. It's in du uh, Dubai. I've been on it. Well not the tallest but the fastest. They got signature drinks as well. The scary scream. Vampire's kiss. Typo negative blood bag, skull smash. Cool. I love how they actually have drinks located around the park. It's fun. It's giving me Halloween Horror Nights vibes for sure. Just not as intense and also not as crowded, which is a plus in my mind. It is a Thursday. It's not the weekend. But trust me, Wednesdays are pretty busy. Wednesdays and Thursdays are busy in Orlando. But well, New Jersey, we got to work. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, we got work in New Jersey. <laughs> I came out of the bathroom. <laughs> and here she is. Okay. Just standing by herself. You found your super suit? <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> See? So, so Tristan, why don't you respond so to them? Well, here's something really funny. There was like a ton of like 14 year olds, 12 year olds, and they're like, are you Frozone? They're like, hey Frozone, and I'm just like this. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> and they're like, hey. hey. <laughs> hey. Um, I, I... We have a Disney character meeting here, it's you. <laughs> Tristan, all I'm saying, it doesn't matter if you say hi or hey. But please don't be rude. If someone says hey to you, you gotta. I'm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just like the thing is like I'm acknowledging it, but the thing is my voice. If it's like I feel like if I raise my octave, I'm gonna be like this. Hey, and I'm like that's concerning. Just, just so, say hi. Just say hi. No, I, I'm doing my thing. I think I'm, I'm like doing well. Like I'm just like if they see me, they're like, okay, super suit. I'm like, okay, super suit. Like you know. I'm actually excited for this. We got Saw X. The movie just came out. I just love intellectual properties. Hopefully it's scary. This is the line which is longer than just walking on, but if you actually see it's not that bad. You're just kind of going around the perimeter and the entrance is right here. Saw X. I actually like how they have a whole little, you know, thing going on here. Okie dokie, we're about to go in. Hello everyone, welcome to the treatment facility. Right this way to the operating room. Good luck in your surgery. Thanks. We were in the back of our group. They do separate groups, which is great, but uh, we didn't get scared that much. Like even her, and she's been getting scared. So I think it, honestly, it was all right. It Are we still in the house? What the heck? Oh, Jonathan! What's the? <laughs> Not the sauce. I think that was a different house, but I I give that one like 
I, I like the scare elements. I'm give it a three out of ten. Depending, I would say depending on your placement in line. I don't know. It definitely wasn't as scary as the other one, but as a soft fan, it was cool. I give it like a three out of ten. I would say the actors are actually pretty good. They were the in, actors killed it. They were in really. I like, just think scary. I just think at the end of the day that house heavily relied on jump scares, and if you were in the back like you're we just, were, yeah. you, you were just kind of catching the back end of everything. So. So now, folks, here's a real challenging. Frozone going to the bathroom. Let's go. She's crazy. So I will say this is really funny. I've been sitting here at this bench for about 10 to 15 minutes now. My sister had to go to the bathroom, but then she called my mom because she can't unzip her super suit. <laughs> so it's just funny. Coming home is a whole different experience because this would never happen in Universal or Disney because I'm with my friends and we're moving and grooving. But you have to take time to appreciate these moments where your family is here and I, I, I guess they're struggling to take off our super suit because I still don't see them and it's been a minute. Regardless, it's nice to come home. It's nice to be out of my element and it's definitely been a nice break from the craziness of traveling and Disney and Universal. It's, it's good to be back in my true home theme park. This was the place I used to hang out all the time. What's up, what's up? <laughs> I just, uh, I wish I vlogged back then. Imagine if I started vlogging back in the day. Where would I be now? Tristan, <laughs> your whole back is showing. I'm not returning this costume anymore. <laughs> you broke it, bro. Oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> I, like, literally, this is like $50. I wasn't gonna keep this. Oh, well, at least there's a Stop gift shop right here. I want to take a picture. R.I.P. Frozone. <laughs> um, it broke. <laughs> so the costume was too much. That's <laughs> what are you now? I think I'm like an 80s jazz size coach from the Incredibles era. Like I am no. I'm so upset because why I did you get a pink jacket? It, you look like cotton candy. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> You gotta make sure you guys like and subscribe because I've been losing a lot of money tonight. No, you look ridiculous. You look, you look. I'm confused. It's now time to go on the second tallest slash fastest roller coaster in the world, King Ka. I haven't been on this in years. I think the last time I went on this was Dan, actually. R.I.P. Dan. Uh, there's no line. It's a walk-on, which I love. So this is great. Head back. I'll say one thing you definitely shouldn't do when it comes to Six Flags uh, Fright Fest is, uh, I don't know, it's tough to say. If you come on the weekdays, it seems like the lines are a lot shorter, which yeah. is great, but they close at 10. Normally they close at midnight, which I means that they close all their bars an hour early, which is kind of sad. I mean, yeah. it's 9.13, my mom, my sister, and I wanted one more drink, literally just one more, and we can't get one, which is sad. Yeah, I think um, if you come here on a weekday, you'll definitely be able to go on all the uh, scare trails. But um, yeah, just plan your time accordingly. I mean, we got here with about three hours left. So now we're just hustling to just kind of check out the area. To show you all what's in store. I will say though, I do uh, take Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Orlando for granted. The fact that they close at 2 a.m. Now more than ever, I really appreciate because I, I do wish it was open until at like at least 11. Yeah, even 10.30 at this point. Because right now, like, we don't have much time left. Oh. Spooky. Big Top Terror entrance right here. 
All right, let's uh, let's do it. I mean, you you're not coming, are you? No. <laughs> okay. I'm checking out the merch. All right, we'll see you in there. Okay, we'll in meet the you in there. Store? We'll meet you in the store. Okay, I'll be in the store. All right, let's go, Tristan. Presented by Twix. Again, the lines for tonight aren't bad at all. Literally, I can. This is under 100 people in line right now, which is so different from Orlando. So, oh, if you guys are in the New Jersey area and you want to do Fright Fest either in the next week or next year. Definitely check this place out. I've been having fun. The biggest thing that I appreciate here is that they do separate their groups. So not everyone's just walking in one at a time. As you see, we have two separate groups right here. So that's fun. Go! Okay. Wow, that was actually really cool. You wore these like 3D glasses and it was like tripping with your vision a little bit. Yeah, like half the spookiness was just like walking through. Yeah. How was it? 3D. How it, was it? It, was, it was cool. I give it a 5 out of 10. Wow. It, it, I think that's scared, but you wore 3D glasses the whole time, so I felt dizzy. Also, someone recognized me in there. They know you from JoJo's world? Yeah. She's, she's like this. <gasps> Jojo? Are, <laughs> yeah. are you kidding me? No. So she, was, she, she was gonna give us comp tickets to come. <laughs> comp tickets? Free tickets. Oh, she worked there? Yeah. Now she was like a, she was a clown. And then she was like, Jonathan's like, oh, what's her name? She's like, oh. I mean, <laughs> She was working, oh my goodness. Always oh, making new friends. What's your name? Grace. And? Kate. Where are you guys from? New Jersey. That's crazy. Like an hour away. Uh, what was the spookiest thing you've done tonight? The Conjuring. To be is in the merge and die. Um, you see anything cool? Yeah, I did see some t-shirts on sale, which <laughs> would be really good. They are. Wait, where's the deal? It said it before. Oh yeah, here, look, extra large, nine ninety nine. Ooh, that is nice. You want one, Joji? I'm okay. <laughs> Thanks, Justin, though. You want one to go to sleep? During the weekends, they're open until midnight, but even then, you don't get too much time here. This does not compare to Halloween Horror Nights when it comes to scares. The houses, the atmosphere, it's a lot spookier in Halloween Horror Nights. However, I feel like Six Flags Fright Fest is less about the spooky and more about the fact that you can come here at nighttime and ride your favorite rides while getting scared. Most of the rides are open. A bunch of the big roller coasters are. The fact that King of Ka is open right now is absolutely insane. At this point, I don't really know what we're doing as far as Halloween activities. To the left is El Toro, to the right is Bizarro. But we're gonna go to the left. A whole spooky store for Halloween. I like the dynamics in here. It's kind of creepier that no one's in here right now. But this is a dedicated store for Fright Fest. We got a scare zone here, a bloody shed apparently. I can't tell if this is a scare zone or not. Oh, no, it's up there. hey mom, what? it's a scare zone. My stomach is upset. <laughs> what? what? It's a scare mean? zone, you're what good. Does that mean? No, I mean it's a house, you can leave. Okay, I'm leaving, oh sorry. Yeah, unless you want to walk through with you. us. No. No? No. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you at the exit. Where am I? I don't know, just go out. We'll meet you at, we'll meet you at the entrance. Okay. Bye, Mom. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like. Do you, no, you don't think she can handle it? Okay, fair just enough. Just the fear of the unknown. It's your turn! You've been away for the dentist. <laughs> for the who? Just been waiting for the dentist. <laughs> Search for a Do you know where the squirrel is? The who? 
Time. <laughs> oh, hello. Howdy, how y'all doing? Oh, we're doing great. Just fine. Cool Just trying you. to find a way out, you know, alive. I know about alive. Oh, no? No, you not promise? here. <laughs> Howdy there. Oh, hey. My name is Tucker. I hope you, you like have a great room? night. Stick around for my room. Oh. oh, yeah, yo. We got free dental for you. No. Oh, that, oh that's yeah. awful generous of you, but I'm going I'm to decline. Ooh, <laughs> oh, fresh me coming right up. Oh, no, I'm going to head over this way. Oh, I don't think much. so. Like fresh me coming from you. Man, it was really scary. I don't remember what the theme of it was, but there was this one section where it was like these really intense strobe lights. Ah! Oh, why? <laughs> why? He wasn't even a scare was, actor. It's just, it's just, he was the scariest of them all. Um, the strobe lights were really scary and Jonathan pushed me to go first. Yeah, I did. Uh, for some reason, they only let us two go through. They separated oh, yeah. the rest, so it was just it nice. It was usually like in groups of five to seven, but then the guy was like, you two go by yourself. It was, so, good. it was good. It was a good time. I wish I could record it. Listen, I'm telling you, the best advertisement, if any of the social media brands are watching right now, is let us record. And this is so nostalgic to me. Just coming to this area right now. This is where El Toro is. I was actually the first ride in 2013 for El Toro. We didn't get to explore half of the park. It's 1018 and the park is closed. Obviously, this is sometimes when I begin my nights at Halloween Horror Nights Orlando. But different states, I get it. It's different rules, different all that jazz, but man. It's the next day. How hey. was the spooky evening? Did you enjoy it? It was so much fun. Yeah. Um, I'm a little sad my costume ripped. $60 down the drain. Oh, stop it. But you got complimented. The memories. Mom, did you like the spooky, even though you don't really do spooky? I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it wasn't it was, too bad. It was nice walking around, having nice a drink, trying the food. Yes. And being with Jojo. <laughs> a big shout out to the channels that we used for footage. Thank you so much. If you guys want to see more of Six Flags, go watch their channels. They're so good at what they did. So talented. And we have one more vlog in New Jersey. Remember guys, every day is a blessed day to be alive. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.